Alrighty, we're back and now it's the 2.3 tutorial. I'm going to be doing 2.3 number 19 part A. It says to construct a cumulative frequency distribution. Now notice this is the data from 2.2 number 33, the same problem we just finished for our 2.2 tutorials. It's like I planned it. <laughs> Alright, let's go look at the data. So here was 2.2 number 33. And for 2, 3, number 19, that tab, oops, I don't know if you can see that. Let me move my little video recording device up here somewhere. All right. So 2, 2, number 33, there's the graphs we made and all that good stuff. And 2, 3, number 19 is all blank. There's the data right there. But we don't have the, the table. Well, let's go get it because it's the same data. So let's go get this. So let's highlight all this stuff right here. And I'm going to copy, so control C, or you can hit the little icon over here, that works too. And then let me go to my new spreadsheet. And I'm going to click on a cell and I'm going to hit paste, or you could hit control V, either one works. There we go, cool. And if those widths weren't big enough for you, you would just highlight the columns, make the double sided arrow, and double click, and it'll make all the class widths perfect. Now, we want cumulative frequency. Let's go over here and type. Cumulative freak, F R E Q. Oops, better make that bold while I'm on the subject. Now, cumulative frequency is going to be the total of the frequencies. So, for example, in this row, it's just eight. But in this row, it's eight plus 15, which makes that. And in this row, it's eight plus. 15 plus the 12, which is in cell F4. Oh, there's got to be a better way. And there is. Let me show you again. Instead of doing it this way, I could type equals sum. Now we're going to be a little bit tricky here. I want F2, but I want to give it dollar signs. Just trust me on this. Colon F2. Oops, it did it again. That's okay. It didn't like me there. Let me click back in the front one. I want that front one to have dollar signs. And I want the back one to not have dollar signs. I promise this works. So it's saying, look, start adding up at F2 and never change. And then make the bottom number change. Watch. Enter. So notice these numbers are 23 and 35. Let me click back up here at the formula. See the formula up there in the formula bar? I'm going to go to the handle over here with my cursor make that plus sign and I'm going to drag it down. Look at that. Crafty, huh? Now notice 23, 35, just like we said. Now it's doing this little green mark over here because it thinks that the formula is an error because it's kind of a funky formula, but I promise it's right. And you can tell it's right because look what they add up to and it's all said and done. 50 states plus the District of Columbia, 51, just like this adds up to 51 because what you're doing is adding up 8, 15, 12, 10, 4, 1, and 1 to make the 51 in the first place. Great, huh? All right, you've constructed your cumulative frequency distribution. Let's just make it center aligned because, well, I may not retentive like that. Now, next time we'll make the cumulative relative frequency distribution. Actually, let's not make it next time. Let's make it right now. Cumulative rel freak. That works. Bold. Alright, and watch this. I'm going to drag this formula over. Shwing. Alright, now let me go click in the formula. I want G2, but I don't want this F2 business, so let me let me move this over here. There we go. I just kind of moved that box end over. So now it's saying G2 colon G2, but notice the first G2 has the dollar signs. That's awesome. That's what we want. Enter. Let me go back up drag it down. There it is. And look, adds to 1 because that's what the relative frequencies add up to. This is adding this guy plus itself. Then it's adding these two together, right? Then it's adding these three together. And the formula you've typed in, let me show it to you, does it automatically. Look at that box. It's adding those three for you. Crafty formula, isn't it? Awesome. So we've done parts A and B. We are ahead of schedule.